Hey guys, welcome to ecomhardy.com and this is Hardy Patel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the WP Mail SMTP on your domain or website and also how to set up the DMARC so you can successfully send the emails from your domain to other email addresses. So let's get started. So first of all, if you have the WordPress website, simply go to plugins, okay, and then add new. If you go to add new, simply go and search for SMTP and you will find the search results which includes a lot of plugins or services, provides the SMTP mailer services. I would prefer WP Mail SMTP by WP Forms this time. So simply click install now and then activate. Once you activate, it will take you to the setup wizard. So setup wizard would look something like, let me open it, like this one. Let's get started. Once you start, what you can do is you will have a few recommended mailer options here. If you are using third party mailer services like Google Mail, Gmail or Amazon or Mailgun or whatever, go ahead and choose those ones. But if you are just using the website email address from your hosting or domain service provider then simply go and select other SMTP then save and continue once you save and continue here if you go down all these options or the fields would be empty you just have to fill out so SMTP host and port and all these things now if let me think you may not have the your website email address then what you can do is go to your hosting service provider so in my case it's a name hero but it will work the same way despite any hosting server service provider you have so go to hosting service provider login at dashboard and then go to cpanel cpanel would look like this if it's site ground site ground may not have cpanel but their options are similar so what you have to do is search for mail okay and go and select the email accounts and you have to create the email account if you don't have already if you have email account set up already then skip this part and go to the next step here so now let me assume that you don't have an email account create one simply create okay i have few number of domains registered under the same hosting but in your case there would be only one let me go ahead and select the domain i am looking to create the account so ecomhardy.com username whatever username you like to give like support or no reply or newsletter in my case for this tutorial purpose only i'm creating account username something like test at the red ecomhardy.com give the password so make sure you remember this password whatever password you are giving right now and then create once you create the account what you can do is you can check the email okay click and open that account and check the email and open the inbox once you open the inbox you can see the client configuration settings here so all these settings are available now what you can do is all the settings you can use to fill out this form now let me go and copy this username which is test at the rate ecomhardy.com now go back here so smtp host in our case it's outgoing server smtp because you are sending the email to other email addresses so simply copy this address from the outgoing server and paste it here now let me just move the tab second thing you have to copy is smtp port number which is 465 so 465 make sure the ssl is selected if it's none it won't work if it's tls it may work but ssl is recommended now if you go down and copy the username it will be required later so now if you go down you can select and activate this option auto tls yes authentication make sure you copy and paste the username and then password whatever password you have chosen just simply put that password 
once you put that password you can here give or assign the name so what sort of name should pop up when the emails are sent to other email addresses from your domain so when someone will receive the email from these services it will pop up like the email is received from taste at the rate ecomhardy.com in your case could be support at xyz.com the name should show is in my case i want is maybe i just leave it ecom hardy i can select this option like force from name so other plugins will not be able to change this name from email i want test at ecomhardy.com and save and continue so once you save and continue you will see these options the pros are not active because you will require the pro plan for now it's okay just keep it as it is save and continue and skip this step skip this step and now you can see you have successfully set up the WP mail SMTP you can do next step is send the test email so select test email so it will take you to this page simply send email and you can see the email has been sent let me check and you can see the email has been sent let me check my email address whether I received any email or not okay I successfully received the email from WP mail SMTP now everything is done now people will start receiving the emails from you but the problem we still have is DMARC. This plugin is recommending to activate or you know set up the DMARC protocol on your hosting. What you can do, these are the steps you have to follow to avoid or fix this error, okay? First of all, what is DMARC? Let me search and show you. DMARC is domain-based message authentication reporting and conformance service is email validation system designed to protect your company's email domain from being used for email spoofing so this is really useful setup and you should not avoid this part so make sure you set up the dmark protocol so other people or hackers won't use your email address to send the emails to other email accounts now let's let's do it what you can do is let me close this one go to cpanel of your account okay in the hosting so make sure you log in to the hosting and now search for dmark marc or you can search for zone editor both are same so in the zone editor you can set up the dmark simply select zone editor okay now you have i have multiple domain set up under the same zone editor in your case there would be only one so ecomhardy.com let me select manage once you select manage what you have to do is here you have to add a record so click add record this step would work similarly if you are having site ground account they have a little bit different look and feel works the same way okay so here on the type select txt okay now valid zone name so under the valid zone name you have to type in dmark d m e r c okay and then just click anywhere outside and automatically fills the rest of the information here dmark.ecomhardy.com in the record you have to follow this line so let me just copy and paste. I will leave this line into the description of this video. So feel free to check it out. So V is equal to capital D mark one semicolon P is equal to quarantine semicolon R U A is equal to mail two. And then here you type in whatever email you set up. So in my case is like taste at ecomhardy.com in your case would be support at xyz.com or newsletter or whatever okay and then save record once you do that once the record is being saved it says successfully go back to your WP mail SMTP into the WordPress dashboard go to send another test email if you don't find it here then simply just go to settings 
and then email test and here you just fill out your email address and then send email once you click send email it will show up something like this test HMTP email was successfully sent and there is no error pops up okay in case if you if you see the same error message don't worry just try again after five minutes because it may it may take some time to just you know register the data of the DMARC protocol you just set so it may take some time once it's successful you don't have to worry about anything everything is set ready to go now you can set up the newsletter plugins or any plugins and then you can start sending emails to other like other email addresses your customers your subscribers or anyone all right hope you enjoy watching this video guys hope this video is helpful to you somehow please thumbs up this video and please subscribe my channel for more amazing useful videos on this channel related to wordpress woocommerce like e-commerce base and other tutorials thanks for watching see you next time take care bye bye